Yes, honey. Two of oh yeah, that's right. I did give you something, Kevin. Go give it to him. Go give it to him. I did get you something, asshole. Yeah. Piece of shit. Maybe you go fuck yourself. You need to apologize to me. You come out here to apologize? Mommy, that was my toy. video. What? Where's my toy? Hi, welcome back to my channel. I am mascara cakes. This is a completely different setting. We're in my dining room, which is part of my kitchen area, whatever. I'm at the kitchen table because I was going to try and bring all of these mugs into my bathroom where I usually tape. And that didn't seem like a good idea because there's a lot of fucking mugs here. It's a lot noisier here. So, there's a lot of fucking mugs here. I'm going to show you all my mugs, coffee mugs. Because in case you did not know about me, is I fucking love coffee. Funny story. After I had my first child, I really wanted to breastfeed. And my cousin told me one time, like, months before I had the baby, that... Water helped increase breast milk supply. So, as soon as I had the baby, all I, well, as soon as she told me that, all I drank was water and coffee. That was it. I just stopped drinking soda. And all I drank before that was Diet Dr. Pepper, which isn't that fun good anyway. But I stopped drinking everything except water and coffee. And that's still all I drink. In fact, now the bu bubbles in soda. This has been since my car accident, which I'll link that video down below if you want to see that. But, since my accident, bubbles hurt my mouth, which is weird, but they do. But So now, yeah, I just drink water, coffee, and somehow I get a coffee mug and I just, I can't get rid of it because it was a present or it's really cute or it means something. I, I can't throw... A fucking coffee mug away I have we bought a little thing to hang up on the wall we can hang the coffee mugs from I don't have it set up yet because we just bought it and we haven't well like three or four weeks ago no like three or four months ago maybe Wait, what is it February we bought it like at the end of De I bought it at the end of December and it's still in a box in fact it's holding my camera up so yeah it's still in the box but it's going to go over my coffee maker, my coffee baking area thing. Yeah, I can't get rid of a fucking mug. Like, if I throw it away, I'm like, what did I just do? That mug means so much to me. But it does. I don't know. I don't know. Do you have this problem with mugs? Because I fucking do. So I'm going to show you the mugs. And if they have a story, I'll tell it to you. And if they don't, I'll just show you the mug and tell you I fucking like it. So, the, this, see, this is my problem. This is the first mug. It's plain. It's fucking plain white. But, it used to have a pink logo right here that said Alice's Teacup, which is a little bakery cafe place in New York City. And I fucking love it. They have the best fucking pumpkin scones. They have like two, two or three locations around the city. The best breakfast, hands down, in New York City. So good. I love that place. Their chocolate cake with vanilla icing. Oh, I want it right now. But they have these scones that are, like my husband went to visit a couple years ago. And he said, like, do you want anything while I'm visiting? I'm like, I just want you to bring me back scones. He brought me a bag of scones and I was so fucking happy. Because it's the best. But I know what this used to say. And it's like really big. It's like really big. And I like a lot of coffee. So this is good for some morning. Especially because I know what it used to say. And my mom bought it for me because she knows I love that place. So this means a lot even though it doesn't even say the thing it's supposed to say anymore. But why would I? I'm not throwing that away. Come on. Alright. So this mug. I saw this mug at Target one time. 
and it was on clearance. It was like, no, it was like 69 cents, like 99, I don't know, it was really fucking cheap. It was under a dollar. So I got it and I brought it home and my husband saw it and I think he's jealous of it because recently I couldn't find it to make this video and I couldn't find it for a while. I think he tried to get rid of it, but I found it in the back on the shelf. Nice try, but it's Dear Coffee. Is it backwards? I don't know. Dear Coffee, I love you. That's all. I fucking love this mug because I really do like coffee. That's it. And it's cute and it was really cheap. And yeah, I think my husband hates it. So this one is about, it was a set of four and this is the dishes that I bought when me and my husband first got married. And it was before I had moved to New York yet. And I kind of bought it without even asking him. We had gift cards. We had gift cards that were sent to us as wedding presents. And <laughs> I probably should have asked, but I didn't. And we went and bought coffee mugs. It was dishes. There's plates like this. Little plates, coffee mugs. Um, bowls. That was a whole set. It was really pretty. And it was probably the stupidest thing I could have bought with those gift cards. But I did. And now we have four mugs that look like this. fucking cute it's a rainbow with a really cool unicorn and this was a dollar from Dollar Tree and it was just really cool and it was a dollar so it isn't like okay for someone who is fairly indifferent towards unicorns I have a lot of unicorn shit I have a lot of unicorn makeup I have unicorn mugs like more than one which is weird but it's, I mean it was cute and I like these size mugs and it's got a little Unicorn, stay magical. I don't know. It was cute. Oh, this is my sister-in-law had a baby right when, right before me and my husband got married. And these were the, like, uh, gifts she gave out when everyone left. Whatever those are called. I don't remember. But yeah. Their mugs said baby, the baby's name. And this is, I'm arriving soon, so when I do... Have a cup of coffee or tea on me. It's just really cute. It's just a... You can't throw this away. It broke. I didn't break it, but... Yeah. It's just a memento. You can't throw... I don't really drink out of this one. Because the handle's broken. But, yeah, we can't throw that away. Honestly, this one... I might have got this from the dollar store, too. I know, I've had it a long time. This is a big-ass coffee mug. I have a really cool picture I made with this one. I'll throw it up. But... I don't know, it's just really cute. It might have been in a present or something. I don't remember. But it's really huge. Polka dots, cute. I can't throw that away. This one is actually from my best friend. We are super Harry Potter dorks. And she got me a Hufflepuff mug. I love this mug. I love the size. It means a lot to me because I fucking love Harry Potter. So yeah, I mean, it's cute. It's yellow, black, gray. It's from Target, I think. I fucking love this mug. And I know she has the Slytherin one. Because we're Slytherin Hufflepuff besties. But yeah, I, I love this mug. It means a lot. I'm a fucking Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff bitch. So this one is from my mom. Um, she bought it at a romance book conference. My aunt is an author. And they go to these romance book conferences all the time. She's like her traveling buddy. I mean, it's her sister, so. But, it says, my friends went to South Dakota and all they bought me was this lousy mug. But then the other side, I mean, she got it from, like, a reservation. Like, she bought it from actual Indians. So, it might not be racist, but it kind of, it looks racist to me. I don't, I don't know. It's a little... Like, alright, mom, thanks. I don't want to drink out of that shit. I don't know, it's weird, right? I'm just uncomfortable drinking out of this mug. I don't know. But it's cute, and my mom gave it to me. 
Oh, it's not cute. It's weird. But my mom gave it to me, so I just haven't thrown it away. All right. Speaking of Harry Potter earlier, this one, I have this, and my friend, my friend made it for me, and it used to say, it had a little badger face, and it says, I don't give a huffle fuck, because, well, I don't. And if I have a picture, I think I do, I'll throw it up here. But it came off in the dishwasher, so that sucks. But it says Fifu on it and half a badger face. And I was really happy that she made it for me. And I loved it because, again, Harry Potter. But and it was yellow. I mean, I bought the mug, but she made it for me. I'm kind of sad that it's rubbing off. And then I bought this one because I was going to make a Slytherin mug like with the paint Sharpie. There was a whole thing about it for my best friend and I just never got around to it. So this mug represents my Slytherin best friend. So if she ever comes, she has four kids so I usually go over there because it's just easier. But if she ever comes over here for coffee, she can drink out of this. But I can't throw it away because I mean, it's her. I mean, so that's why I still have this one. Okay, so we get our Christmas trees from this Sullivan Farms, and every year they give us a mug. They thanks for buying a tree, whatever. So we have like six Christmas Sullivan Farm mugs. But then the other day, my son was in the other room in the living room, which is not connected to the living room, like open connected. But um, so this is one, and this has. <laughs> no handle recently doesn't have a handle um uh, he said some smart ass shit and I got upset <laughs> and angry so I slammed the cabinet door shut apparently this handle was in the way and it broke and shattered oh I was like oh fuck so yeah don't get angry at your kids and slam doors and shit <laughs> you break shit but we can't get rid of it because it's part of a collection now. Because we have all the ones for like the past six years. So yeah, you can't get rid of it. This one's from 2016. But yeah. I'm not going to show you those because they're just Christmas looking. There's nothing that special about them. I only got two left. Alright, so this one is also from my mom. Another one of the romance convention conventions that her and my aunt went to was down in New Orleans and they went to Cafe Du Monde and she got me some beignet mix and I made them and they were delicious but she got me a mug because apparently they're really good well coffee and beignets I really want to go to New Orleans and go here like really bad but the next next thing is a coffee mug and beignets from there beignet mix from there so I don't know if you can read that. Yeah, but. So that's that one. So this house that me and my family live in, my me and my husband, we live with the kids. I grew up in this house. Like, I moved into this house when I was three months old, I believe. And we moved out when I was eight, after I graduated high school. So I grew up in this house. And my parents never sold it. And when my husband got laid off in New York, my dad was like, hey, you can come live in this house. And we were like, oh, fuck yeah. All right. And I was eight months pregnant when we moved. And so we moved into this house. And yeah, my bedroom was where my oldest son's bedroom is now. My parents were in our bedroom. And it's, it's not weird anymore, but when we first moved here, it was kind of weird. But whatever. But this cup my mom had when I was little. And I found it in this house, actually. So, I don't know, it's very sentimental. It means a lot to me. It just reminds me of watching my mom drink coffee when I was little. And me drinking, you know, I drank out of it, hot chocolate and all that kind of shit. Tea and all that crap. But it's got blue, I don't know, I like it. It's pretty, I mean, it's cute. But yeah, this, I mean, yeah, like I said, it's sentimental, nostalgic. It means a lot. Those are, do I have any more that I can't find?
Oh, I had a really big one that my husband got me for Christmas. Because he gets me coffee of some sort every year for Christmas. Some form or some sort of coffee. Because I fucking love coffee. And one year, he got me this big, giant mug with coffee in it. And the mug broke and shattered. And I was very sad because it was a really cool mug because it was really big. But that is my mug collection. So now I have to go put them all back up in the cabinet. Maybe I should make Kevin come out and we can hang up my thing. Hmm. I, have, I had a Keurig, but I kind of got over using that. Because uh, I drink more than one cup of coffee usually. I have a drip coffee maker and I you I grind my own beans usually. I'm bougie like that. She 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 Beverly Hills. You have to be fabulous. I'm a wedding planner. I buy like bags of coffee. You know. Uh, there's this one uh coffee shop and they sell it like by the pound and shit. Ooh, that is really good coffee. And even like my family usually gives me some Starbucks for Christmas or Starbucks gift card or, you know, my grandma's giving me coffee for Christmas before, coffee mugs. I get coffee everything because I love it. So, do you drink coffee? Do you have coffee mugs? Do you find it hard to throw your coffee mugs away? What do you do when you just have too many coffee mugs? What am I supposed to do with all that? Because I'm not going to stop getting coffee mugs. Like, that's not going to happen. I'm not going to throw any of these coffee mugs away. I mean, I'm glad I got those hooks. They're like, like a hook shelf, and you hang it up, and I'm put them over my coffee station. But, like, what am I going to... It's going to be all the coffee mugs on the hooks, and then the cabinet's just going to be filled up again with coffee mugs. What's the solution to the coffee mug problem? I don't know. And I can't... I do not see one... Like, how, I don't see how you can solve that problem. I don't know. If you have any ideas, let me know. I mean, I guess you could accidentally break them a bunch. I hope that doesn't happen. But this is really weird. So, sorry for the different setting and all that, but that is my coffee mug collection. I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. You know what would be weird? If somebody had one of these coffee mugs that I have. I mean, the Target one, I have bet people have this one. But other ones, that would be really fucking weird. Maybe the dollar store one. Yeah, that's weird.